Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maceblade here. Uh, today we are going to be hacking and cheating in a game called Pal World. Uh, it's the newest uh, survival crafting Pokemon with guns game uh, where you have to capture your animals. Today we're going to be showing you how to duplicate items, duplicate materials, uh, duplicate stat points, uh, technology points and teak or whatever they're called the purple points and your little spheres we'll show you how to all that so let's get started first thing you need to know is you will need uh, cheat engine you can google search cheat engine and uh, it will come up I'm using version 7.3 again this is cheating so if you get banned if you get warning somehow uh, that's on you this is just me showing you how. Um, it is not an online game unless you're playing on a dedicated server. So I'm not sure how that would happen. But either way, here it is. Let's get into it. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fire up your game. Then you're going to fire up Cheat Engine, run it as an administrator. And you're going to select a process by this little magnifying glass over here. You're going to go down and select PAL, because that's PAL World. And then you're going to go start a game. It has to be your game. You have to be hosting the game. It has to be something on your PC. It cannot be on a dedicated server. So let's just put that baby to bed right now. Now, when you start your game, there's certain things that you have to do in a specific way. Uh, I've done some research on this and I've done some failing on this. So I'm just posting to you what I know. Now, this is my third attempt, so you're going to see some already duplicated items because the last two times my mic was not working at all. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use Cheat Engine to find this inventory slot. Cheat Engine does not find item IDs. It does not find um, item numbers. It just finds inventory IDs, and it says, hey, we have 100 of whatever in this inventory slot. So we're gonna do wood. We're gonna, actually we're gonna do something more fun. Like uh, let's do uh, let's do our ultra spheres here. Okay, we have five thousand, which is a ridiculous number because I've already done it. But we'll just do them anyway. You're gonna want more. The more you have, the merrier. You know because it's easier to single it out. It's easier to allocate that specific number. If you're doing it with like two, good luck. All I gotta say is good fucking luck. And it's it's so hard. It's doable, but it's hard. All right, so we're gonna start out with 5,000. Now you're gonna to wanna to be on four bit because almost everything we're gonna do here is four bytes. So we'll do a first scan of 5,000. And you can see why, because we only came up with 4,000 results. So you're like, oh wow, that sounds like a lot, but it's better than 15 million when you're trying to search for two. All right, so now you're gonna take half of this and get rid of it, or just put it in a different spot. And now we're gonna search up 2,500 because we're still only looking for that first slot in our inventory. You hit next scan. Now you're gonna see a couple of results pull up. Easiest way to do this from here. Easiest way is to take this quantity in your first slot that you're looking for and stack it on your other stack. And now the only one that zeroes out is your actual inventory slot. So you double click that and then you change your value or you don't change your value yet because you wanna keep it at zero. You just wanted to allocate it. And now you stick it up there. You're gonna see you have 5,000. You can change it to whatever you want. Let's put it at like 4,500 just so you can see. Okay, you go back to your inventory. You have to close your inventory and then you open it back up and you can see the change. Now that you have this inventory slot allocated, you could swap it out with whatever you want. These repair kits, put them over there. You're gonna see we have two. Change it to whatever you want, 100. Sounds good. Go back, 100. And you just do that with whatever you want. Now I'm gonna show you how to duplicate items, okay? So here is the necklace, a life pendant. It's not stackable. It's a single item. Now, just like eggs, it's a single item. You do not want to do more than two. Come down here to your value. And I'll tell you why. Because it's easier to split two into ones than it is anything else. And I'll, I'll tell you why. So you put a two here, and you come back to your inventory. You close it, open it. You see a stackable number. Now you hit control, you take one off, and you move it, and now you have two singles. Now if you have a three, now if you use three, and you hit control and you take one off, now you're going to have a two, and this one will still have a one. It'll, they'll all have ones after you split them all off, 
and you can't you can't even equip them just like eggs if they have ones that you can't even hatch them they'll just air out they'll have like 99 hours on them it's ridiculous but you can duplicate these you can wear two necklaces at the same time increase your health a shitload it's pretty nice you can duplicate your gold i don't i didn't there's no reason to it i mean this stuff drops like candy really just I, don't, I haven't found a really good use for gold other than the merchants and even then it's it's meh whatever now let's go to enhancement stats all right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come down here to your enhancement stats. The more numbers you have, the better. Again, the more numbers you have, the better. It's easier to allocate. The oddest numbers you have also works, like 289. Pretty odd number. Not very common. We're going to go to a new scan, also 4 bytes. We're going to go 289, first scan. It's a very quick scan. And you go back to your stat points and you start spending them however you want to. You spend a few, spend whatever. Get and then go back to your sheet engine and type in the new quantity. So I have 284. Next scan. Right here. I got two results. Pretty close right now. Which one is it? Come down here to your first address and you see your inventory slots 29F. Come up here, 29F. That's allocated to your player alone. All right. So let's change that back to 300. Go to our inventory. Close out. Open up. 300. There you go. Then you go to technology, same thing with these points down here. Uh, technology points 200, so we'll do a new scan. 200. Come here. Uh, I go, sorry, I forgot to spend them. We'll spend a bow here, that there, that there. We got 196. Now we type in 196, next scan. Got that one fluctuating there. Got 29EF, 29FE, 29FE again. So we'll just buy something else. See if we can narrow it down even further. 194. 194. That's the only one that changed, right? Come back down here. Change it to whatever number you want. 200. Close out. Come back in. Go to technology. 200. There it is. Same thing with ancient technology points. I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. You know, it's not rocket science. It's just a matter of allocating and isolating specific, you know, inventory slots and, uh, you know, stat point slots, etc. Everything's got a number, so do it. All right, with that being said, this is, again is a cheat, is a hack, so use it at your own peril. Um, and uh, I appreciate the likes, the thumbs up, the comments, the subs. You all have a good night. Peace.